The Book Garden art installation in the gallery of the San Antonio Central Library includes distinctive faces sculpted by Taiwanese-born artist Long Bin Chen. While the busts of iconic Renaissance men appear to be carved from stone, they're built from magazines and catalogs. What is on the inside is as important as the face on the surface. Two of the busts have faces made of book titles. Long Bin Chen said he did that to show how a person's character relates to their education and what kind of book one has read. When we have meaningful conversations with each other, said Long Bin Chen, we can go deeper than the face to relate to the knowledge and culture that is on the inside. Look behind Renaissance Man and you will see copies of The Big Issue, a street magazine written by journalists and sold by homeless individuals. This one was uh, uh, when I beginning to to cut a Renaissance man, like a, and I I find uh, the one kind magazine called Big Magazine. Actually, it was for homeless, for homeless to uh, uh, to sew on the street and get some uh, support, and they. Uh, uh, the public company in in New York office they close, and the office very close to my my studio, and they throw away about thousand copy in the street. Then I bring back to my studio, is, and then I'm beginning to think about how to use in this material because it's a very high quality, big size uh, art, uh, catalog. All the book I can put inside the Renaissance. So it's a good idea. So I, I choose using this to make a renaissance. And I beginning to to use the, the renaissance man was in almost 10 years ago when I first time go to Roma to do residency. And then I find the, the Western sculpture, the best sculpture was from the Greek and Rome, especially whole Rome, whole city looks like a museum. So, is a since uh, ten years ago, I begin focus on the icon. So I can begin to uh, before the icon, was, I I make a lot of Buddha. So if you check my website, you will find out a lot of Buddha head, and and Buddha was my cultural base, my 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 society. Most people was really Buddha. And using the phone book to make him Buddha was make a lot of sense. Then, then ten years ago, I changed into to to make a different icon. Mm -hmm. uh, Renaissance man was one of big uh, subject. Yeah. Right. And and also my technique was improved a lot, so mm -hmm. I can make a icon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Think so. So he is, and he is a Renaissance man, and he is a Renaissance man. Yeah, there's two Renaissance men, then, then you will see two, two, two busts with a only a book title on the face. This bus was used in English. Mm -hmm. book. And then you will see the computer today, and more, and different kind, yeah, different kind of English. So, go ahead. yeah, so, uh, it is similar like a, uh, for people when we talk very deep, mm -hmm. then we feeling that the people, the, the, the character was uh, relate to, to their education, what kind of book the, the person was reading. So more and more we, uh, we was interesting was uh, the inside of the, the people, what kind knowledge you have kind of thinking mm -hmm. so not only the shape only the the face so mm -hmm. so i just make a flat and so is everyone is it how we identify each one it's not only from mm -hmm. uh from the face from the race was from from the culture so here you can see if you you understand chinese character it's a, some famous Chinese book, and one that two was China can say no. The book 
China That Can Say No, a 1996 nonfiction bestseller, is subtitled Political and Emotional Choices in the Post-Cold War Era. The book supports Chinese nationalism and is critical of U.S. foreign policy toward China and Taiwan. At the same time, all of the authors are critics of the Chinese government. Two participated in the Tiananmen Square protests of 1989, and another was jailed for his pro-democracy activities. Through the busts, faced with book titles, and Renaissance men built from magazines, the artist demonstrates how books can be transformed into artwork and libraries transformed to museum. As Long Bin Chen said, medium transforms the subject and becomes the message.